Howdy folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here once again and I'm excited today to be reviewing for you a semi-flexible solar panel from a company called Lensun. Uh, I'm really interested in doing with this panel is I want to make myself a little portable ground panel with it because this thing's so light comes in at around five pounds and being flexible like that it would be uh, interesting maybe I'll make a frame for it and uh, so that'll be in a, in a future video but this one I'll just do a, uh, a review of it and show you you know what kind of power it'll it'll put out so let's take it apart and give you a closer look at this baby okay so there we go I got her out of the box you can see how thin that baby is Wow. Yeah, that's super thin. So it's supposed to be flexible, um, not, you know, totally flexible, but it'll curve from 20 to 30 percent curve if you wanted to mount it on a curved surface. Um, I did a little research online and I found uh, several guys that use these on boats, very popular in the marine industry, because they're uh, easy to mount on the boat. You can actually probably mount them with some sort of uh, sealant and on each corner they have this little uh, grommet so you could uh, put a bolt in there, hold it down or you could mount it on any type of surface really. Let's give you a quick look at the back in here. Rather than their standard aluminum type, this one uses a uh, fiberglass backing. There's some of the specs for the panel, 100 watt panel, 17 volts, it's kind of the working voltage, IMP 5.89 amps, that's your expected output at 17 volts, um, open circuit voltage is 21, and a short current voltage is 6.1, so that's pretty comparable to my Renergy panel, it's about the same specs. Lensun. So up until they contacted me, I've never really heard of the Lensun company. Yes, they're kind of a new player in the market, especially the North American market. Uh, I believe they're based in China, I think Hong Kong, and they have distributor or warehouses around the world. I believe they have one in the UK and another one in Germany. But uh, you can, uh, in the description notes, I'll put a link to their website, or you can check out my uh, blog post. I'll have links there as well. So I've set myself up a little test bed here. I'm using their uh, PWM charge controller that they sent me, and hooked it up to the panel, and then I've hooked it into my uh, RV's battery bank. So I've turned off my other solar system, so this is the only only thing and I've turned off my converter so this is the only thing charging my batteries right now um, the voltage on the batteries measures 13.2 volts and here's the current coming out of the solar panel and that's laid right flat so I'm getting about 5.8 uh, 5.8 something amps out of it and that's pretty good laid flat that's about my, what my energies would do um, yeah, pretty cool. So let me uh, tilt that panel a bit. Try to I'll find the the optimal spot, tilt it towards the sun, and we'll see what the max current coming out of this panel is. Okay, tilt it up to the best point, and what are we getting? Six point nine ish amps. That's awesome for a hundred watt panel. It's that's doing well. So that panel is pretty good a closer look at this baby. There we go. So unlike uh, some of the panels, the uh, flexible panels in the in the past that had kind of a shiny surface on them, this one's using kind of a matte finish um, so it absorbs more light. You don't get near the reflective lights so it makes it up to I think 20, 21 or 22 percent efficient. So that's comparable to the, your standard glass panel. Also, it's uh, this uh, film they use. I was reading up on it. I think it's called EFT 
TFE or something like that, some kind of a chemical name, but it's much better than what they were using before, their PET film, they called it before. So yeah. And of course it's completely waterproof. Even the little box here is supposed to be waterproof on that. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it up on the roof and lay it up on the RV roof and give you a, a comparison in size to my uh, Renogy panels that are mounted up there. Okay, there we go. So it's not quite as long as the Renogy and a little bit wider, so probably pretty comparable in size to the, to the same footprint. There we go, I'll just give you a look at it on the roof there. So you can see that would be awesome to have <coughs> 10 or 12 of these wallpaper on the roof. And it's, you can actually walk on them with soft-soled shoes. That's why they're so popular on boats like sailboats where you don't have much deck space in Okay, for those who are interested in such things, there's the open uh, circuit voltage on the panel on my multimeter 20.36 volts. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go lay this up by the, the four energy panels and then feed it in parallel along with my four energies into my uh, Bogart controller so I can see on the trimetric uh, monitor how much uh, current I'm getting out of the array at that point. Okay, there we go. Not super spot on, but it'll give it a good indication. Okay, so the five panels up there right now are putting out about 24.3. It's about 10.30 in the morning, crystal blue sky. So let me go disconnect the, the lens on panel, and then we can see the difference of what it's putting in. Okay, so I disconnected the lens sun panel. I'm back just with my four energies. And you can see the lens sun was doing pretty good. It was doing 24, so yeah, it's it's very comparable to what the energies are putting out. Even though it's a one of the flexible uh, thin panels. So there you go. There's a few quick tests of the panel. and. As far as I can tell, it uh, performs really well for a, for a flexible panel. I'm actually a little shocked. I thought it wouldn't, wouldn't put out uh, as much as my Renogy panels do, but, but it does. Um, also a lot lighter. The Renogy ones are running 16 and a half pounds. Um, this one's about 5 pounds. And of course, much easier to mount. And also you can mount it on a curved roof. So. I think it would be ideal for, you know, camper vans and stuff like that where you you don't really want to be uh, mounting rigid panels on speed. You could even go with Velcro or something with this type of panel. Um, I really like the, the new uh, matte look finish. That looks like a really good feature. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be an interesting mod. Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Cheers.